Hey everybody, welcome back to day five of our our Bloom series that we're doing here. Um, as I mentioned in our first video, I picked up a full case which, which consists of 12 Bloom dolls. Uh, there's 22 to collect, so we won't get them all, but I'm hoping for all different ones. Um, what you basically do is there's a thick layer of plastic that you pull off, that you uh, have to cut off with scissors because there's no tear strip on the front. And then you remove the top part, which has our checklist. And our watering can, which is squishy. You, you fill it up in water. Uh, that's what you use to make your girl grow. And then there's one more layer that you peel off. And then you pour the water on there and our girl will bloom. So we're going to go and get all this paper stuff off. And then we will uh, see who we get. So here she is. Um, I missed the uh, blooming action in this one. I apologize, guys. Uh, but if you want to see the blooming action, I'm attaching the links of the other videos uh, from the other four videos that we've done so far uh, at the bottom and it looks like guys I think we actually got a rare this time let's see who is this nope we don't this is this is Mandy she's an adorable um, she's wearing a black bikini and she has um, the sea green eyes if you look close, you can see that her eyeshadow represents leaves, which is really cool. Her hair is squishy like a Nerf ball. And it is removable because you're supposed to be able to interchange their hairs with each other. Um, it doesn't say that anywhere, so it's kind of a... If you don't, if you don't know, <laughs> the hair comes off, it does. Let me show you here. So here she is with her hair off. It's just a molded on bun. So uh, you can wear her with the wig or without the wig. Uh, the wig does kind of make her a little top heavy um, for her stand and stuff, but if you display her right, she comes out right. Uh, her lips are a light, light pink, and they have that little um, detail work there that separates the top lip from the bottom lip. And uh, she does sit. You can make her sit. You can make her stand. Her arms go back and forth. Her head goes back and forth, and it goes up and down. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. So the next step you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to pull out this layer. So you're gonna pull that out, and then you're gonna find your you're gonna open up the pot, and you're gonna find your layers inside. Oh. Pen here. Hmm. Sometimes it's a little hard to do with one hand. I am going to get my. So just give it a huge pull, and this whole mechanism pulls off. That's the mechanism that helps her grow. That's the science behind the whole gimmick. Um, so then we... I think there's tape holding it. Yeah, there's tape. Take the tape off, and you open this up. So my biggest beef about these is that there's a lot of... I mean, there's not a lot, a ton of detail work done in this, but it's, it's actually... Basically, this flower pot is a glorified blind bag. Uh, it, it's... Unfortunately, more throwaway than it looks. Uh, the hinges aren't very strong. They're not weak. I mean, they're weak. So um, basically, that little ring that we pulled out is what kept it all together. So once you pull that ring out, it's very flimsy. Um, it is better to me than the paper ones that some of these sets come with because it's more durable, uh, especially since it's getting wet and stuff. But uh, you open up the hamper here, and then you um, pull out your little friend. Okay, so our little friend looks like an onion. I don't get it. So then we open up this, and this is going to be our outfit. I can get the little, there's a little pull tab here. All the other ones seem to be very accessible except for this one. And who do we have here? What do we have here for the outfit? Oh, is this the girl in the front? No, it's not. Oh, but it... This is the outfit of, from the front of the box, except for it's um, done in black. So, hmm. They are meant to interchange, so maybe that outfit didn't come on that girl, or that's just a different variation of this outfit that did come on that girl. But uh, she also has um, some short boots um, that fell on the floor. No, these are black sneakers, I think. If I can get that to focus. Come on, focus. Focus. 
black sneakers. You can see the lace detail. Uh, there's no paint detail on any of the clothing. But, um, except for they did put a little paint detail on this one. So you have the lavender fur coat lookish thing. Um, I think it's supposed to be like feathers, maybe. I don't know. And then it's supposed to look like she's got a skirt and a tank top under it, but it's all one piece. So we're going to have fun putting that on. They go The outfits go on almost kind of like the LOL outfits. If you want to compare them to another doll series. And then uh, this stump comes out. So yeah, the stump comes off and it's going to reveal, there's tape on it, our purse. And our stand on the other side. So here she is all put together. Um, I This is one of my favorite outfits I think so far. I think I've said this in all the videos, I don't know. But, um, and also here is her... I put, let's pull her off her stand. This is one of the ones that doesn't really stay sturdy on the stand. Some of them do, some of them don't, so it's a pick of the draw. Um, I put the sticker on the bottom, because this is supposed to be a Mara that's uh, transferable into a stand. So I put the Mara sticker on the bottom of the stand I've found so far. Uh, everything else is kind of a free-for-all with the stickers. We put a lamp in there. We put a dream catcher over on there. And we put a picture of the BFFs up there. Good vibe sign. And our bookshelf is up. And then our little starfish. So that's all we have for you guys today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.